Welcome. My name is Marcus Samson. Welcome to my kitchen. The recipe I'm going to do today is a take on an American classic, a great mac and cheese with roasted chicken. And I'm putting bacon into my mac and cheese. And that's what's going to make this mac and cheese different. The bacon gives us great flavor. So I'm just going to dice up some bacon. And I'm going to cook it really crispy. As we get started getting a nice color on the bacon, I'm going to chop down the, the garlic and the red onion. Now, if you don't like bacon, you can put merguez sausage or you can put chorizo sausage into it. Anything that is maybe part of your ethnicity, your ethnic group, you can add to the mac and cheese. That's what's going to take it over the top and make it your best dish. Our water is boiling. We got the macarons in. So we're going to cook this for about seven or eight minutes and I'm start cooking the cheese sauce. We're going to have a nice cheddar cheese, a nice Adama, Adama cheese from Holland, and then we have a little bit of blue cheese here. If you don't have access to all of those cheeses, use what you have at home as leftover, and it could be any type of cheese, as long as you like it. Our bacon is ready, and we're going to finish it off with this bacon on top. So I'm just leaving half of it on the plate here, and I'm going to use water and heavy cream with this cheese sauce, and a little bit of chili, just a tad, just to give a little bit of heat to it. Now I'm going to just add in all of that cheese and thicken up and give flavor to the sauce. I promised you a uh, roasted chicken with the mac and cheese to make the meal complete. I'm just going to use the breast today. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh sage and thyme underneath the skin of the breast. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to cook it mostly on the skin side to get a nice crispy skin, and by the time that the cheese sauce is ready and the mac and cheese in the oven, the chicken breast is going to cook and it's going to get ready at the same time. The macaroni is done. This is Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs. Cheese sauce is ready. All the flavor that we want is right here, so you can stir all of this in and it smells great. Got all the bacon in there. Put a little bit more bacon on top, mixing in a little bit of butter. And now we're going to bake it about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. And by the time the mac and cheese is ready, the chicken's going to be ready as well. No matter where you live, I think it's important to work with a butcher in your community. And my butcher always gives me the best chicken. It's about two and a half pounds, a little smaller than the average chicken, but it's much firmer in its flesh, doesn't have too much water in it, and it makes everything that I need to make a great roasted chicken dish. This chicken has now rested for about eight or nine minutes, which is extremely important. Beautiful. Smells fantastic. Put a little bit of the juices, the natural pan juices. So we have a little bit of tomato and garlic. So now the real reason why I became a chef, to eat. So good old roasted chicken with mac and cheese. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be a great dish. I'm going to enjoy it. Thanks.